Oh, another engine. Uh, he'll probably laugh at me, just like the last three did. Oh, hello there. Haven't seen you around before. What's your name? Uh, oh, uh, um, t Thomas. M m my crew called me Thomas. Thomas, eh? <laughs> That's a fine name for an engine like you. An engine like me? Oh, I I'm sorry, I didn't mean to come off like that. I'm just a tad surprised, really. The fat controller said we'd be getting a new engine to help out, but I hadn't expected them to be as small as you. <sighs> That's what those other engines said too. They all laughed at me and told me I'll just get in the way while I'm working here. Good gracious, that is not fair at all. Ugh, I knew I should have told the others not to scare the new engine. Uh, did the engines on your old railway talk to you like that too? Uh, some of them did. My brothers said I was a silly little engine and had ideas above my station. What sort of ideas? Well, uh, um, oh, I shouldn't say. It's just a stupid old dream anyway. <laughs> Not to worry. You can tell me if you want. I won't laugh. Um, when I worked at Brighton, I often talked about wanting to, uh, see the world. Well, uh, maybe not the whole world. I just wanted to get out of the station yard. <laughs> Lots of engines are like that, Thomas. Certainly no shame about having hopes and dreams. You know, if you follow those dreams, maybe you'll find that they come true. Really? Do you mean it? <laughs> of course. Oh, well, uh, that's good to hear. Thank you, Mr... Uh, um, <laughs> Edward. Oh, well, thank you, Edward. You certainly know how to make an engine feel better. Oh, don't mention it. I'm just helping you settle in. Anyway, I best be going. The fat controller says he has some work for me at the yard. See you around, Thomas. Oh, uh, uh, right. Uh, okay, uh, goodbye, Edward. Uh, and thank you. Uh, I want to see the world. <laughs>